On today, we'll be looking at a new Z690 movable. This is the new MSI Pro Z600A DDR4, designed for the new Intel 12th generation CPU. Good morning, and welcome to Tech Interceptor. First of all, remember to subscribe to the channel and activate the notification bell to stay up to date on upcoming video. As anticipated at the beginning, in this new first contact you are going to discover the new MSI Pro Z600A DDR4, which joined to the family of numerous Z690 motherboard produced by the Taiwanese company. You can find the complete roundup list of new boards in the description. Starting from the box, we find, of course, the motherboard, two SATA keyboard, M2 screw standoff set, two M2 clips, IO shield, driver DVD, product registration card, and a quick installation guide. New MSI Pro Z600A DDR4 is an ATX form factor that measures 30.5 cm for 24.4 cm. The board presented a VRM layout feature 14 plus 1 plus 1 digital power faces that guarantee the maximum power and efficiency. It's covered by two black metal heatsink with thermal pad at the upside and at the near the IO back panel. In addition, there is an AWA heatsink that covers the M2 slot. As all new Z690 board, it features Intel 1700 socket that support the Intel 12th generation Core i9, i7, i5, i3 CPU, Intel Pentium Gold and Intel Celeron CPU. The motherboard is equipped with four DDR4 DIMM sockets, dual channel memory architecture that support 32GB single DIMM capacity up to a maximum of 128GB for four DIMM. It supports DDR4 from 2133 MHz to 3200 MHz and to 5200 MHz in overclocking. Regarding the header of motherboard in the upside from the left, there are 8 plus 8 pin ATX 12V power connector for your CPU, CPU fan connector, water pump fan connector, system fan connector, and addressable RGB LED connector. Going down on the right side, there are two system fan connector, 24 pin ATX main power socket, one USB 3.2 Gen 1 connector, one USB 3.2 Gen 2 Type C connector, four SATA port, addressable RGB LED connector, and front panel connector. In the bottom of MSI motherboard, there are front panel connector, two SATA port. Trusted platform module, two USB 2.0 connector, chassis intrusion connector, USB 3.2 Gen 1 connector, Thunderbolt add on card connector, two system fan connector, RGB connector, and front audio connector. In the middle of the board, there are Hanawa system fan connector. Storage options include 6 SATA 6GB to second ports and 4 M2 slots. One M2 slot support type 2242, 2260, 2280, 22110. Storage devices at PCI Express 4.0 for full mode. One M2 slot support type 2242, 2260, 2280 storage devices at PCI Express 4.0 for full mode. One M2 slot support type 2242, 2260, 2280, 
storage devices at PCI Express 3.0 for full mode and SATA 6 GB to second and one M2 slot support type 2242, 2260, 2280 storage devices at PCI Express 4.0 for full mode and SATA 6 GB to second free M2 of this support Intel Optane memory. As expansion slot, the motherboard feature three PCI Express for 16 slot, one PCI Express 5.0 for 16 slot, one PCI Express 4.0 for 4 slot, and two PCI Express 3.0 for 4 1 slot. On back in the IO panel, we find firstly one flash BIOS button, PS2 keyboard mouse combo port two USB 2.0 type A and this support flash BIOS, one display port, one HDMI port, two USB 2.0 type A ports, two USB 3.2 Gen 1 5 GB per second type A ports, 2.5 GB per second LAN port, one USB 3.2 Gen 2 10 GB per second Type A port, one USB 3.2 Gen 2 for 2 20 GB per second Type C port, and audio jacks including line in, line out or front speaker out, mic in, rear speaker out, center spoofer out, and side speaker out. The audio feature a Realtek ALC897 codec with 7.1 channel high definition audio. And now we talk about off prices. The motherboard is available from November 4 on retail at price of about 220 US dollar at the time of making this video. And you, what do you think? Let me know, as always, in the comments below. And if you find this video helpful, then leave a like, share it, and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching, see you again next time.